Hi everyone, thought it was about time to get back into some tutorials, so um, I want to get started with the uh, Stray Cats Lonely Summer Nights. Um, so there's a few, you know, kind of differences between the record and live versions, because the record has a, a few guitars on it. But we'll try and, you know, put together a workable version from from what we can see him do live and, and what um, is available on the record. So the song's in the key of E flat, B flat, uh, you know, a sixth fret uh, E version B flat, typical kind of thing. And live, you'll see he'll sometimes start just gets things going um, just on the B flat. Now he'll play he'll, live. He'll play through the progression, sort of himself on the guitar, and then the band will come in, and, um, sometimes with sax, sometimes without. And this pr uh, this progression plays through um, really just for the intro on the record, just once, but live maybe um, twice or something like that. So the progression itself, um, we've got B flat, G minor. C minor 7 and we want to get up to this E flat minor 7 but we'll pass through D minor to get to that back down to D minor 7 and then walk through uh, C sharp minor 7 to get to C minor 7 and another thing about these uh, minor sevenths is that we can use our little finger to get some of these notes on the first and second string, little embellishments you'll notice he sometimes does. Uh, never that many, but that's just so you can see where they are. Um, so with that we'd have a... Uh, C minor 7 we go to an F and we'll sometimes make it a 13 by using our little finger to add the um, the D the note on the, the third fret the second string and we can take that off and make it just an F7 and we'll be doing quite a lot of this kind of moving with the little finger to, to get some kind of melodic uh, movement inside just the actual chord itself so the intro, yeah, B flat, G minor, C minor seven, D minor seven to E flat minor seven, D minor seven, walk it down. So play around with the F, back to B flat into the first verse. Time to D minor seven. And he does this kind of walk down thing. Sometimes with, sometimes without embellishments. Uh, first verse seems maybe pretty straight. He'll sometimes mainly just strum through it, maybe pick a little bit. On the record, we can hear more picking. Uh, but we've got C minor to F. Again, sometimes including this little note on the uh, second string, third fret. It just gives a bit of movement and motion, uh, just within the basic chords themselves, to um, the kind of, this kind of seventh position. Of, but it's not a D7, we're going to do a D7 flat 9. Which if you look at your D7 shape, all you're doing is taking the note on the uh, second string, third fret, up one fret to the fourth. And to get a sort of around this, we'll just use our, we'll look at the normal seventh shape, but we use our second finger on the second string and put our first finger 
were the what our first finger and what our second finger was. <laughs> C minor to F, maybe it went, maybe it was 13. D7 flat 9 to G minor. And E flat minor, E flat minor 7, F7. Also, over this E flat minor part, we could. Uh, uh, play the whole thing as a, as a E flat minor seven and pick through it. Um. Uh, you know, I'm sure the picking on the record's not set to any real plan. Just picking as he as he kind of feels it. Just picking the first three strings, adding my little finger onto the eighth fret, first string, then off, and then just. Moving down the strings, picking two, three, four. Or maybe pick the F seven. Or just strum through it. So that whole verse. Uh, So, poof, you were a little, <laughs> little bumps there. Um, so, same thing again, B flat, G minor, D minor 7. This time he, he does a little, um, so, minor 7, then with the little finger on, here the, at the 8th fret. And I'm picking the uh, first four strings. As I move down, I... Um, keep my little finger on sort of relative to the shape this time on then off I'm going off then on off on on off then move down again and back on not um, essential but, but it adds some interest C minor, F, maybe with the 13 or not, uh, D7 flat 9, G minor, and this time uh, E flat minor to F to B flat. And now, so now we're going to the kind of uh, the, the second section. Um, and he passes to now we're going to C minor seven, which is down there, but we're playing it up here at the eighth fret. C minor seven, and we just passed through this B minor seven to get there. That's all that's for. These things, passing things, just sound much more than they really than, re, than the, they really are. The reality is, they just you want to get from <laughs> A to C, and we're just going to hit B, literally B. And a lot of these things are so interchangeable. Um, C minor, basically you're going to an F kind of chord, but uh, on the record it sounds like an F nine. Live, you'll play an F seven here. So you could play the, you know, but so we got um, B flat. And we're going to the G minor, and in these other sections, in this kind of second section, I'm going to see in the solo, 
to get to this G minor, and here he might make it a G minor seven. He'll kind of passes through the air minor, the, the air minor to get there sometimes, just as a movement from this B. Not always, but now and again, it, and it just adds a, a little bit more extra um, sort of motion. So the second section so far. F, and back to B flat. Put my little finger on the um, eighth fret, second string. Make it a B, kind of like a B thirteen. Put that on and off. Um, you'll, if you look at the videos live, you'll notice that maybe even making it into a seventh there as well. Seventh and shifting down just one fret to A7. It's a D minor, D minor 7, walk it down to F now. With our little finger, we'll just do this little series of uh, movements. One of those was wrong, I'm not sure which it was here. Yeah. It was kind of on just the third fret, fourth fret, third fret, and off. Back up to the B flat for the, another verse. So, um, let's have a look at some of the... Um, Turning around on the quick uh, from the minor seven to F, back to the B flat, and again this will shift up into this kind of second section, which uh, here would be the sax solo. <laughs> Seen live as well at this point because um, sometimes there isn't a sax, so they'll just play through it as the, as the three piece, and instead of playing the F nine here. <laughs> Version, I can't think which one we'll play up here. Um, that's not the so, uh, yeah. B flat. And as before, C minor seven. Perhaps with a little bit of embellishment. The F. Yeah, play around with it a bit with just the B flat. B13. Take it off to 7. To the A7. In On the record, uh, this at the second time around it goes to this section. You hear like this kind of... Uh, C7.
so um, I need to reverse again. flat minor seventh uh, you know you can play it like that or an F seventh maybe even down here or the to the B flat down two frets we're going to an A flat seventh G7 sus4 to a G7. So I nearly hammered that second finger on a bit. Um, so what we got the to B flat just play this little run up to the E flat minor um, with the 8 on the uh, so 8th fret 6th string 5th fret 5th <coughs> fret 5th string 6th fret at the root of the uh, E flat minor It sounds like to me um, it's finishing just on a, a kind of regular uh, B flat six nine chord. Uh, Brian Setzer often plays them like this. He'll be playing the uh, uh, fourth and third strings at the fifth fret, his first and second fingers, uh, making a bar over the first two strings with his little finger and plays the the bass note on the uh, six string six fret. <laughs> The vocal harmony or one of the notes is playing this A note to the, the major seventh of the chord, that's why it's got that a kind of flavour. So this chord doesn't quite give the kind of end where that, that we're used to, especially from hearing it live. And live he does play it different and includes that major seventh note. So the way he seems to play that live is making a kind of a bar over the first four strings of the fifth fret. But it's difficult, at least for me, to get this fifth fret on the first strings of sound, so I use my second finger on that. So all on the fifth fret, but um, again, third finger is on the sixth fret of the uh, sixth string, and little finger on the second fret. Sorry, second string, sixth fret. <laughs> Another way to maybe play that kind of chord is with just a bar over the 5th fret, 2nd uh, finger on the 6th fret, 6th uh, string, and maybe 3rd um, finger on the 6th fret, 2nd string. But uh, maybe missing out this 5th string. Um, I usually play that, to be honest, myself. So, um have a look from maybe the well, not too much to do from the beginning but let's have let's sample it through it anyway.
that seems to be it. Um, what, you know, there's got to be an easy way of playing out. It's pretty, well, it's pretty tough on my hand, all those bar chords. Uh, maybe stretch out a little bit. So I hope that's of some use and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I'm going to get back into some classes now and uh, tutorials and stuff. A lot of uh, exciting things coming soon. And, um, yep, yeah, thanks a lot. If you like it, subscribe, um, send me messages and things. <laughs> I know I'm pretty useless at getting back, but I'm working on that. So thanks very much, and uh, see you in the next one.